there are perfectly wonderful alternatives to toxic pesticides, no matter what the problem is. My husband and I started Sustainable Growth Boise about five years ago. We are a 100% all organic lawn and land care company. So all of the practices we use uh, only use substances that could be used on a certified organic farm as well. We just opened up the North End Organic Nursery this last year um, as just kind of a, a next step to providing to the homeowner and the retail customer products that they can use on their own lawn and landscape for do-it-yourself type uh, projects. We also carry an, an entire Xeric native and edible nursery for things that will be naturally pest resistant so you don't need pesticides in the first place. If you have a lot of dandelions in your yard, dandelions are actually a symptom of calcium deficiency in the soil. Calcium is everywhere. It's a huge mineral, especially in this part of the world where we have very alkaline soils. But because the alkalinity is so high, the calcium's made unavailable. It needs acid to actually dissolve it and make it something that the plant can take up. Fungi, naturally occurring good beneficial soil fungi, have a slime that they excrete out their hyphae that is an acidic slime. It actually will grab onto pieces of calcium and dissolve them, pull it through their body, and actually feed it to the plant. So when you inoculate your soil with fungi, you're making a calcium available. When you make calcium available, you make dandelions not want to be there because they thrive in low calcium soils. So there's your weed solution right there. It's not an overnight fix. It's a cultural practice. It's understanding the soil and the soil biology and chemistry and the minerals that need to be available for the grass to be the selected species to be dominant. When you start using pesticides, it becomes a a really never-ending cycle. The more pesticide you use, the more you have to use. Because when you put the pesticide on the soil, you may have killed the bill bug or the grub or whatever issue, the fungal problem. But when you put down a fungicide, you've killed all the, um, the beneficial fungi as well. So you've basically sterilized your soil so it has no defense system, it has no immune system to fight back. My best advice for somebody is to just, first, compost is your friend. Whatever the problem, compost is the answer. Uh, start by inoculating your soil with a good layer of healthy compost. And the way that you can find good healthy compost is go to your local garden center. The bulk section is always better because it's not in bags, but if it's in bags, that's okay too. Uh, smell the compost. Does it smell good? If it doesn't smell good, it's not good. If it smells like you know, manure, then it's not fully composted. If it smells just sort of rotten, that means it's gone anaerobic or without oxygen. You want good aerobic, earthy smelling compost, almost like fresh mushrooms or a forest floor. Get that compost, spread it out, maybe an inch, half inch to an inch thick on your lawn, and let it start working itself in. You can do this any time of year. Fall's a great time to do it though because you can actually get it down and it'll work its way through all winter long. Once you get that initial inoculation of the uh, beneficial organisms and just the good organic matter going into your soil, then you can start putting down organic fertilizers. Go to your local garden center or you can look online. Um, you need far less nitrogen uh, in an organic lawn care program because everything you're putting down is naturally slow release. It breaks down according to how fast the microorganisms break it down and they'll break it down as fast as the plant tells them to because they have a very highly evolved communication system between the two of them. The plant tells the organism, I need this much nitrogen at this type of time in my growth cycle, and the organisms will do it for that plant. So you've got naturally slow release, you won't get any peaks and valleys. Um, different types of fertilizers you can use. In the springtime, I recommend using corn gluten meal because that'll give you that pre-emergent quality. Be careful though, if you're gonna be putting down seed of any kind, it will prevent any kind of seed from germinating, not just weed seeds. Um, if you're going to be doing any kind of seed, make sure you wait about six weeks uh, before an, or after your application of corn gluten meal. In the middle of the summer, it's good to put down something called humic acid, which is a high carbon type of product that builds the soil and it actually increases what they call the cation exchange capacity in the soil. That allows nutrients to flow more freely and it allows the plant to um, deal with stress a lot better. Uh, there's a lot of really good just organic lawn care programs. Um, if your local garden center doesn't carry something already, ask them to. If you want to use an organic lawn care company, nail them down to what they're actually using. Say, you know, what do you do for weeds? Because a lot of companies will say, well, we we're, we're have an organic fertilization program. Well, what do you do for weeds? Oh, well, we use 2,4-D and we spot spray. 
Well, it's not an organic program and you're actually doing more damage to the soil. Uh, sometimes people will call organic programs something that has uh, a form of nitrogen that isn't organic but everything else in the ingredients are. Again, not an organic program. You don't want those salt-based nitrogens to go into your soil. So just become educated. Read as much as you can about what organics actually mean and if something wouldn't be good enough to be put down on a field of organic food, then it shouldn't be good enough to put down on your lawn.